Hey, it's Ren here. This is just a quick video to show you the sneak peek and some of the main features of my bi-weekly budget spreadsheet. This template can be used for any month and any year, so you can use it for this year, next year, and so on. The link to the template is in the description of this video. This is not the full video tutorial. You will get access to that once you've purchased it. But feel free to reach out to me if you want to see it so I can send you the link. This spreadsheet is designed specifically for bi-weekly paycheck, which is when you get paid every two weeks. It means that some of the months you will receive three paychecks instead of the usual two paychecks per month. This bi-weekly budget sheet will automatically identify the third paycheck in a given month and automatically populate it, which I will show you a bit later. If you get paid twice a month, I have a bi-monthly version as well which is included in the purchase of this template, just in a separate file. So there are three different tabs. The first one here called bi-weekly budget. This is the summary sheet of your income, savings, and expenses based on your bi-weekly paycheck cycle, referred here as paycheck one and paycheck two. I've also allowed the third paycheck columns, which are hidden here. So you just need to unhide them. The second tab is called variable expense tracker. So this is where you log all of your variable expenses and they are over a thousand rows. The third one is your bill calendar tab. So this is your bill calendar where you can see your bills, debt, and subscriptions. And next to it is your bill tracker where you log all of your bills, debt, and subscriptions. And also there are a thousand rows there. Let's go back to the first tab here, bi-weekly budget tab. This layout is quite intuitive. Here you can see your bi-weekly and monthly summary all automatically calculated for you. And then your income table, then your savings table. And at the bottom part, you'll see all of your expenses here. These three main tables here are your recurring expenses, which is your bills, debt, and subscriptions. And over here is your variable expenses, such as eating out, groceries, shopping, and so on. All of these categories are fully editable, so feel free to edit and rename them. There are a total of 25 categories to each of them. If you need extra category, please let me know. I can do that for you. So how it works is pretty straightforward. You can set up and lock your income and savings directly in these tables here. And then for all of your expenses, to lock your recurring expenses, such as your bills, debt, and subscriptions, please lock them in the bill calendar tab under this bill tracker table. You can do that simply by entering the due date, double click on the cell, and select your due date. Enter your category. This drop down here is what you wrote in the bi-weekly budget tab. Select your category and enter your amount. And then to lock your variable expenses, please go to the variable expense tracker and lock them in this table here. The same way by entering the date, your category and amount. So once you've locked your expenses in this tab and in the bill calendar tab, everything will be automatically populated and calculated for you in this by weekly budget tab here. So this is how it looks like once you've locked your expenses in the variable expense tracker and the bill calendar tab, the amount will be automatically populated in these colored columns here. The same with the debt, basically to all the colored columns here, here, and this one based on the paycheck periods that you select in this table here. So all you need to do is select the right date here for your paycheck period. This table here can also automatically detect the third paycheck simply by entering the first paycheck date of the month. So for example, if I enter the 1st of November, it will automatically populate the third paycheck for you. So that's when you need to unhide the columns for that third paycheck, which is this one here. And then you do the same for all the other tables here, here as well, and then this one as well. So now you have three paychecks for each table. The other thing you can do is if you want to split your bills and debt payment across multiple paychecks, instead of paying it with one paycheck, you can do so simply by entering the amount here. So for example, if your rent is 1500 for this month, is, this is automatically populated from the other tab. And the same with this, but you want to split the payment, feel free to enter the amount of the split. 750 and 750, for example. So you can do that for any of these bills. And the same thing, you can do that for the debt as well. You can split your debt payment across multiple paycheck if you want. You can also see the summary of your income versus total expenses in this diagram here for paycheck one and paycheck two period. And then your total budget versus total actual of this month in this diagram here as well. 
and then these two pie charts here. So this pie chart here is showing you the breakdown of your variable expenses per category as both the amount and percentage. And the same with this second pie chart. Remember that they are only showing you the expenses that you log between these two paycheck period here. Okay, so now I want to talk to you a little bit more about the bill calendar. So this bill calendar here is a smart calendar that will automatically populate the dates for you simply by selecting the month here. So when I go to December, always select the first of the month, it will automatically populate the December dates for you. It can be used for any month and any year. So if I go to January, it will do the same. So basically, it means that you can use it for any month and any year, and it's an evergreen product. It also automatically populates your bills, debt, and subscriptions, as well as your bi-weekly income, which is highlighted in black here. You only need to set up this bi-weekly income once, which is in this income table here, simply by writing your income category, checking this box here, and specifying your start date. Then this bi-weekly income will show up in your bill calendar month after month based on the start date that you input here. So it's all automatic. Once you set it up here, your bi-weekly income will automatically show up in your bill calendar month after month. You don't have to repeat logging them in your bill calendar. So if I go to the next month, it will keep the highlight of your bi-weekly income. In this calendar, you can also see when your bills are due and how much. The other main feature of this spreadsheet is if you have fixed monthly bills, which are fixed bills that fall within the exact same date each month, you can set them up in this table here once and they will automatically roll over every month. So you don't have to repeat logging them each month. They will automatically roll over and populate to this calendar and also to the bi-weekly budget tab. So that will save you a lot of time not having to log those fixed monthly bills every month. There is also paid check boxes here that you can check. The same with this bill tracker here, which will help you keep track of how much your total paid and total unpaid bills of the month that you select here. So you can always see in instant view at the top part of your calendar here, your total bills, total paid and total unpaid of the month that you select here. So they are automatically calculated for you when you check the pay check boxes in this column here. So that's it. If you need an annual summary of your bi-weekly budget, please check out my annual bi-weekly budget spreadsheet video in this YouTube channel as well. So lastly, if you need a different currency than dollars, please reach out to me. I can change it to any currency. There is no limitation. I can do that for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to message me. Thank you so much for watching.